The current weather here in Ohio is snowy, icy, and otherwise the kind of stuff I don't want to find myself in. So today we're trying something very, very different for Large Format Friday. We're digging through the LFF archives. The year is 2015. It's early November, just after peak fall season. We're down in Conkles Hollow in the Hawking Hills. This is a state nature preserve, which up until this point, I hadn't visited to shoot uh, anything other than black and white. And while you know I love black and white, it has such a wonderful way of communicating contrast and depth, there are just some subject matter that don't do well with black and white, that there's a little bit of subtlety missing in the frame that I thought I could capture a little bit better when we've got some color. The most surprising thing about looking at this footage quite a few years later is not just how I approach the camera and work with everything because you know I've had that many more years with it, but just to try and you know wrap my head around what was I what was I looking for at the time? What was I thinking at the time? Like, of course I remember the photographs and, you know, when that light hit just right, but what was motivating me that morning? I don't know if anything was. I mean, I, I hope there was some overarching goal, but realistically, I, I think I just loaded up a box of Portrait 400 and a few sheets of ectochrome and thinking, yeah, I'm going to go out and I'm just going to capture this color. And sometimes that's all you need. It's a little excitement, a little encouragement from some photographer friends, and you're off on your way. Not every single thing has to be a teaching moment, an educational moment. Sometimes it's just about being out there and experiencing something. I know that morning it was pretty cold too, and uh, by the time you see me in front of the camera, I was already pretty winded because there's quite a quite an uphill hike to get to that uh, that gorge overlook and see that beautiful light. But some part of it still feels worth it. By the time you get everything set up and throw the lens on there, still a bit of a rush. There it goes in. We're not sure if anything's going to come out. I mean, we know now, but eh, there's always that little bit of doubt. Maybe, maybe I forgot this. Maybe I didn't do this part of the dance. Now nah, we got it. Another little fun fact about this morning. I'm showing you everything I shot. So, the good ones, the bad ones... This isn't exactly a highlight reel. And as far as the video footage, uh, there wasn't much to go on, so I am stretching stuff a little bit. Changing out for a longer lens here. I also had another, uh, another photographer there asking questions. Gotta be prepared to answer questions when you set up a big camera. Kinda like this one. A little crazy on the swing, but I like it. I know as the light got a little bit brighter, I definitely looked towards closer up stuff and, and like longer perspective, lots of longer stuff. And my goodness, the metering, half of the footage is just me second guessing, third guessing myself, unsure of what my exposure was supposed to be. I think overall it turned out pretty well, but some of that is also the very, very forgiving nature of Portrait 400. Short of just opening the film holder, you're going to be able to get a pretty decent exposure. When I was looking at that ground glass shot, I was like, why Why does it look so crappy back there? And I'd forgot, 2015 was the year I broke my ground glass, and Alan Ross had carved me a new one out of acrylic. So this is still an acrylic or plexi piece of ground glass. Not recommended for good visibility or showing for the camera, but we got there. 
overall, I was pretty happy with the kind of color I was able to see that day, even though we were in that super late fall season where there was just so, so little color left, but far fewer folks on the trail. Overall, a really nice, peaceful way to spend the better part of a morning. I, I think we got there around five and we're wrapped up by about 11. So six hours to do really just a few miles worth of hiking. And there's so far in between shots that I did have to tear down the camera every single time. Later on the trail, there was all sorts of fun little details, fallen leaves, and just this lovely sense of light the entire time around. Heck, we even had time to take a shot with some ectochrome and then with Portrait 400. So what do you think? Not too shabby for somebody who was just about to turn 30 years old and had no idea he was going to do a the whole YouTube channel. If you have any questions about the large format photographic process, you can always feel free to drop me a comment down below. And for those long form questions, you can hit me up, largeformatquestions at gmail.com. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll catch you next week for more LFF.